Welcome to Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory Ignition Facility, also known as NIF, or world's largest laser. That's right, we're overlooking the laser bay right now. This 10-story building does something out of this world. Uh, we like to say that we are the hottest place in the solar system because we exceed the temperature in the center of the sun. This is fusion physicist Tammy Ma, and she gets to study what happens when you blow something up with a giant laser. Do you think this guy is scared? He, <laughs> he's right in the middle of the giant laser. Well, right now he's just preparing the target and he's going to insert it in. The ignition facility has two main jobs. The first one, keeping existing nuclear bombs safe. We're not using the NIF to create new nuclear weapons. We're just using it to maintain the nation's deterrence. Now, there's no nuclear bombs on site. The laser is kind of like a test simulator. But the NIF's second job is even cooler. This is the holy grail of fusion research. Fusion. It's how the sun works. Essentially, it burns so hot that it creates its own energy. Scientists at NIF are trying to make a mini sun on Earth. So this is the master oscillator room. It's actually where the laser is born. To make the giant laser, NIF uses 192 smaller lasers, then amplifies them thousands of times. In all, the laser will travel about a mile. All those lasers are fired at a single target the size of a pepper flake. The whole process takes about 50 billionths of a second. <laughs> now, it sounds impressive, but the result isn't as big as you think. So this giant laser, it's only going to make like a small little firecracker pop? At the moment, yeah. The NIF hasn't solved the world's energy problems yet, but it did power the USS Enterprise on the movie Star Trek Into Darkness. All systems nominal, Captain. Now, NIF is more than a movie backdrop. It's a science lab for mankind. So we open it up to academics around the world. And someday, this laser technology might just take us to Deep Space Nine. I thought the cables behind my TV were bad. Hey, thanks for watching, and check out some more videos just like this. Also, be sure and subscribe, and write in the comments what other areas I should check out.